Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is not going to be a full low carb slash keto grocery haul, but this is like my little um, restock, reset, uh, just kind of stay stocked up on things grocery haul. Um, so there's gonna be things like almond milk and stuff that I didn't get just because I already have it, stuff like that. Some of these things are more so snack things because I have the main things like meat, um, vegetables, stuff like that, that I need to cook. These are mainly snacks. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, so like I said, these are mostly snacks. These are just a few things. Um, All together, this cost about $41. Um, which, you know, isn't the cheapest in the world, but it's not that bad. Anyway, so I got these Colby Jack Monterey Jack. Um, I like to switch between this and the Sharp Cheddar. Um, but these cheese sticks are great for on the go. And as you can see, there are zero carbs, which that is amazing. I like to just grab these every once in a while and just snack on them. Um, one or two usually seems to do the trick if I'm waiting in between meals. Then I got these um, mozzarella, which are also zero carb. I'm not exactly a fan of mozzarella, but I went ahead and got some hard salami. That way I can make, which by the way, has one carb for three slices, not bad at all. If you wrap the salami over a piece of this mozzarella cheese, it makes for a great low carb snack. Um, you can buy them pre-made at the store, but it's pretty expensive. I got some avocados for healthy fats with my breakfasts in the morning. That's really about the only time I eat avocado. And then I got some strawberries. Okay, and then I went ahead and got some strawberries. Um, these ones were about $4. That's really about the cheapest you're going to get for strawberries at Walmart anyway. Um, I either like to do these with some low-carb... Um, waffles in the morning or for a late night snack if I'm feeling something like super sweet um, I will chop up some strawberries because if you think about it they are higher in carb but what's higher this or a little Debbie exactly so I did go ahead and get almonds these are the whole natural almonds it was uh, about five dollars for the bag but it says that the uh, total carbs are six, but then there's four dietary fibers. So there's about two grams of carbs for 28 nuts. That is amazing. What I like to do is go ahead and put these in individual baggies. That way when I'm feeling snackish one night, I can just grab the baggie and I don't even have to count them out. And I just know that there are two grams for the bag. I don't know how these are. I saw these, so I went ahead and picked them up. They're the Colby Jack and Turkey Sticks. They are one gram of carb for one piece, which I'm, I think, yeah, that's for one, because these are put together. I don't know if you can tell. They're like a snack combo. I got some ranch. I got some shredded cheese. These are the best, and there are less than one gram of carbs for each serving, so they're great for your water, lettuce, eggs, more cheese. Um, I got the sharp cheese, which there is, it says less than a gram for one ounce, but it is higher in calorie, but that's fine. Um, I got some of this so that we can do it on top of some summer sausage, which the summer sausage is zero grams. I got some hamburger dill pickles, which it is one gram for five chips, which I think that is great for when I'm feeling snackish for actual chips. Um, they were out of cucumbers, but normally I'll do cucumbers and pickles as a chip substitute. I went ahead and got some of these. I forget which kind these are, but they are the spicy peppers. And I got them because I'm doing pork chops tonight. And I also went ahead and got some radishes to keep some color in my diet because there's a lot of yellow, <laughs> not a lot of variety. So anyway, that is all that I got on this small little grocery trip. If you guys are interested to see like a big grocery haul, 
um, let me know down below and I would be happy to do that.